Hi. <clears throat> Woof. It is so cute. Somebody on YouTube recently asked me if I could make another cooking video. And I thought, wow, you know, I don't edit or, or, or provide clips or anything. They really want that, but he said he did. So this morning, and it's early yet, I'm making a tarte normand. This is just a buttered baking dish. These are apples from Brittany, which my husband brought back uh, from the country yesterday. And they're they're very blemished, you know. These are these are not fancy apples. I would say the red are a little bit more tart than the yellow, but you know, they're nothing special. And there's the peels. And here's a few apples that, you know, I just cut up. I peeled them and I cut them up. And this, this gloop here, let me tell you what's in there. There is two eggs, a quarter cup of milk, a quarter cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, um... I would say about five teaspoons of vanilla sugar and um, I didn't add any salt or any cinnamon and I did use unsalted butter. Let me check this recipe again. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. You know, I'll, I'll check the recipe before I post this and, and let you know if I forgot anything. You know, it's, it's flour, sugar, eggs, milk, baking powder, and uh, butter, which I didn't even, you know, this is not even mixed properly in a mixer because I don't have one. You know, uh, it's unsalted butter. That's all I can think of. Uh, and this is going to be dumped into here. See, this is so easy. This is a nice French pastry that you don't even have to roll out. I'm not nuts about, I mean, really, I don't like rolling out things, you know. And then I'm, I'm putting, see, what you're supposed to do is really beautifully arrange these perfect uniform apple slices onto this uh, dough but uh, these are not perfect uniform apple slices and I never did learn how to be a pastry chef so even though you can make these really pretty and really look nice uh, you certainly don't have to. And you can see here how I'm just like putting them on. And I could cut up another one, I guess. But I don't even think I have to. This is just like maybe four little apples. Barely. And um, this will cook for, oh, let's see. I don't remember, uh, about half an hour, I guess, uh, at, uh, huh, oh, what a mess this kitchen is. My poor husband, I don't know how he puts up with me. Uh, 30 minutes, and then there's a topping, which is supposed to make, of vanilla sugar and butter, and then some more egg. And, you know, I really, I really almost never do that. I have, and it's very, very good. But, uh, it seems to come out just fine this way. You know, <laughs> look at this, what a mess this is. You know, look at that lumpy butter. I haven't mixed this properly at all. You know, this is just absolutely the best pastry. My spouse goes nuts over this. He just loves this. Uh, and 
if you're ever in France and they offer an apple pastry at any point um, and there's a tarte normand offered I suggest taking that because hardly anyone can mess this up you know if you get a chausson pomme or tarte tatin or whatever that might be actually disappointing but tarte normand never is and you and you can just see it's so basic I, I guess it's kind of like a a dump cake kind of thing. Alright, see you later. Bye.